Hey guys, in this video we're going to look at the formation of rust. We're going to be looking at all the chemical reactions that take place in rusting. And we're going to be looking at rust in terms of a redox reaction. So stay tuned. Before we look at the process of rusting, have you ever asked yourself, what is rust? Rust is simply hydrated iron 3 oxide. So here, iron 3 oxide is Fe2O3. X represents for a variable number of water molecules that surround the iron 3 oxide. And iron 3 oxide is a reddish brown color. That's what gives rust its reddish brown color. There are only two things required for rusting to occur, and that is water and oxygen. We'll be studying the roles of water and oxygen through the chemical reactions. Let's look at the first stage of rusting. What happens is that this is iron and this is a water droplet on the iron. The iron atoms in the middle of the water droplet, at the center of the water droplet, will start to give away two electrons to form iron two ions. Take note that even though rust is iron 3 oxide, the first step is the formation of iron 2 ions. So iron 2 ions are formed, the electrons travel from the center of the water droplet out towards the edge. So all around, this goes all around. Remember this is a water droplet. Since iron loses electrons, iron is oxidized to iron 2 ions. This is the oxidation process that occurs here. Whenever there is an oxidation process, when electrons are given away, something else has to accept the electrons. And this is where water and oxygen comes in. So oxygen here will accept the electrons in the presence of water to form hydroxide ions. So remember the electrons originated from the center of the water droplet. It is now moving towards the edge. This is where there is an abundance of oxygen. Oxygen here accepts the electrons at the edge of the water droplets. The electrons will arrive at the edge and oxygen will gain four electrons to form hydroxide ions. Of course, to gain four electrons, two moles of iron uh, atoms have to dissociate. So that four electrons are released in total. Now here, oxygen is reduced to hydroxide ions. Iron is already oxidized by donating the electrons away. And here, oxygen is reduced by accepting the electrons in the presence of water. Now we have iron 2 ions and we have hydroxide ions. So the next stage is both of them react to form iron 2 hydroxide, which is a solid. So the first thing that the first solid that occurs at the edge is actually iron 2 hydroxide. The next stage is to form iron 3 hydroxide. So iron 2 hydroxide is oxidized by oxygen into iron 3 hydroxide. Whenever we have an oxidation process here, in the rusting of iron, oxygen is always accompanied by water. In the process of rusting, for you to remember easily, whenever there is an oxidation process here, we put oxygen plus water. Here, iron 2 hydroxide plus oxygen plus water, we get iron 3 hydroxide. So iron 2 hydroxide is oxidized to iron 3 hydroxide. So there's two oxidation processes that take place. The first stage, if you remember, iron is oxidized to iron 2 ions. That's the first oxidation that occurs. And then here we have iron 2 hydroxide is oxidized to iron 3 hydroxide. The second oxidation process that takes place here. We know that rust is hydrated iron 3 oxide, not iron 3 hydroxide. And so the last stage here is the decomposition of iron 3 hydroxide to iron 3 oxide. Iron 3 hydroxide decomposes into hydrated iron 3 oxide. Now let's look at the redox reaction that takes place during rusting. Iron 
is oxidized to ion 2 ions by donating two electrons here and oxygen is reduced to hydroxide ions in the presence of water so oxygen is the one that gains the electrons gaining of electrons means reduction is taking place to form hydroxide ions so since iron is oxidized of course it is the reducing agent here and oxygen is reduced and so it is the oxidizing agent the electron travels from iron at the center towards the edge of the water droplet where oxygen is reduced so the total reaction these are the two half reactions and this is the net equation here two moles of iron react with one mole of oxygen in the presence of two moles of water to form iron 2 hydroxide two moles of iron 2 hydroxide how you combine the half equations again if you haven't seen the video on half equations the link is at the corner here we have two electrons and four electrons so in order to combine the half equations we need to equate the number of electrons because if four electrons are gained then four electrons have to be lost so that is why you get two moles of iron here two moles of iron because every time everything has to be multiplied by two it's two moles of iron oxygen and water and then we have two moles of iron ions here iron two ions and four moles of hydroxide ions so we have two moles of iron two hydroxide since the movement of electrons from one position to another position in this whole rusting process then a small chemical cell is actually formed in rusting so when in a chemical cell we have the anode and the cathode the anode is the place that donates electrons and the cathode is the place that accepts electrons that's the definition of anode and cathode so if you look at anode the words the letters inside you can see if you turn it around it's dona so anode is donate cathode is accept electrons so the place that donates electrons is the center iron is the one that donates iron in the center is the one that donates electrons out so this is the anode and the place that accepts electrons is the edge of the water droplet so this is the cathode this is the anode and this is the cathode when we treat this then we can treat this as a small chemical cell so the overall reaction involves iron of course and then water and oxygen so these are the three reactants in the process of rusting we have iron plus oxygen plus water which forms rust is hydrated iron 3 oxide this is hydrated x molecules of water that's why we have x molecules of water here this is what x represents and iron 3 oxide but this is not balanced yet in order to balance it there's uh, is uh, two moles of oxygen uh, two oxygen atoms here but three oxygen atoms here so we put two and three to balance them once we balance the oxygen then everything else follows as well so we have to balance the iron here iron we have four atoms and so there's four iron atoms and since there is two moles here there is two x moles of water and so there is two x moles of water so we balance water as a single molecule rather than hydrogen and oxygen separately and this is the overall reaction for rusting that's it for this video guys if you've learned something please don't forget to hit the like button and drop a comment if you want to learn more things and if you haven't subscribed yet please don't forget to subscribe i'll see you in the next video this process here is known as the corrosion of metals when a metal gives away electrons and forms an ion this is called corrosion i will do another video on the corrosion of metals and the link will be in the corner this is not only unique to iron any metal that dissociates electrons any metal that gives donates electrons away to form ions are considered corroded metals so rusting is a process where the corrosion of iron takes place iron donates electrons to become iron 2 ions which of course later is oxidized to iron 3 ions in the final formation of the hydrated iron 3 oxide there are many different reasons for the corrosion of metal and that will be covered in another video so see you then